feel like my whole life changed because somebody gave me advice. Mm -hmm. Somebody that I did not know. I did like, I'm going to tell you a story. I had jury duty. I met this girl. Her name is B. So I always say like she changed my life. Mm -hmm. I was about to be positive and shit. (laughs) I held it in. Look, I'm doing good. (laughs) Fuck that. Cry that shit out. (laughs) You're stupid. Yeah. Right, I met this. I had jury duty. I met this girl named B. I think the jury duty was like for a week, and you really can't talk about nothing like other than the case. But like on a break or something, we just we just I don't know how a therapist came up. And, I was, and you never met her prior to this. No, don't know this girl. Right. Jury duty, murder case. Mm-hmm. And I just somewhere I was like, well, I need a therapist. I'm trying to find a black, trying to find a black therapist is like a needle in the haystack. And she mm-hmm. was like, "What? I got a black therapist." Really? She gave her number to me. That's where your therapist came. That's where the therapist came from. Like she didn't have to do that for me. Mm-hmm. So I feel like anytime I know something. I automatically share with people yeah. because I don't, that could be the thing that changed your life. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she gave me that and the number. I started going to therapy, just kind of working on myself, just like. Now uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. So mm-hmm. when I met you, you was you was you was back and forth with the therapy sessions. Mm-hmm. Did you did you have a therapist? Did you have this therapist when you were when you were still married, or mm-hmm. you got one after? No, I was still married. I had a really. Uh huh. Yeah. So how did that? So this is what got you. It's part of the reason you got through what you was going through. Mm-hmm. Really. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. That's yep. incredible. That's incredible. Yep. I was going to therapy, and the thing is, I was sneaking going to therapy because, like, sometimes mm-hmm. people don't want you to do better for yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. So, mm-hmm. like, I was working at um, Tyson's. I wasn't driving. My therapist was in Alexandria. So I would tell, I would either tell my boss I'm going on a break, mm-hmm. or I would just leave early for the day. So I would get on the train, go to Pentagon City, get on a bus from Pentagon City, and go to my therapy session. Mm-hmm. For an hour, walk through Old Town. That's why I love Old Town. Old Town is like my favorite place. Yeah. So after the therapy session, I would just kind of walk through Old Town, and then I would. Um, where was Chloe at the time? Oh, Chloe was already Chloe was back in Maryland. So then I would meet that person, and then we would go home to get Chloe from school. And I would act like it never happened. Like it's like I was shaking the whole time. Mm. Were you telling your therapist that you was keeping it? That's this a secret, or you just or you she was in the blind too? No, I didn't tell her. But she, like my this person, my ex knew I was going to therapy because we went to a session together. Oh. But we only went to one. Right. And then after that, you know, it was kind of like. Man, I don't need no therapist telling me what to do. Therapist is this, therapist is that. So I already knew that it wasn't going to be something that we was going to continue together. And I knew it was going to have to be something that I had to sneak and do because it wasn't something that was supported. Mm-hmm. And therapy, it changes you. So your partner will see you change. And if they're not willing to change, they're going to try to hold you back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or if they see that the changes that you're making will ultimately make you think about your relationship mm-hmm. and they don't want to do the work, they're going to try to stop you. So I probably did that like for at least a year, sneaking. No, maybe two years. 
Mm-hmm. Probably two years. I was just sneaking, going to therapy, just working on myself. And she never, she never like your therapist don't tell you what to do. You already know what to do. You just have to, like I always say, how I felt was my brain was gone, but my body wouldn't move. Like I could not get my feet to take mm-hmm. a step. But when you like are when you're depressed, like you said, mm-hmm. like you have a person is down, like you really are down, and it's no nothing positive nobody can say yeah. is going to get your feet to move. Like it takes work. It took years of going to therapy and working through things to get my feet to finally move. Mm. And when my foot let up, how hard ass. ass. Because all I got in my brain was God said, you got to go or you're going to be stuck here forever. 